Well, Friday night, Saturday night, Glassy had gone overseas urgently. We had a Glassy in and he was great too. It's, you know, within okay. a couple of hours you've got staff. Um, it was a matter of just getting on the computer, clicking away, and it was done. And like I did it pretty much at the same time I had a cigarette. <laughs> uh, I subscribed and I asked for staff in an hour. And um, I was having a laugh with the rest of the staff that it's not possible in an hour to find staff. And now I have Nick, he's yeah. working for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nick, he just come through SMS. Yeah, I just, I found the website, signed up. It was, it was pretty easy. I just put all my um, experience on. And then, yeah, I sent it off. I, I wasn't particularly hopeful. I, I mean, I've signed up to as many things, as many agencies as I possibly could. And yeah, I was really surprised to, it, it was probably three hours later. So I called Nick and said, look, I'm two blocks away from the venue. Um, even if you want me earlier, I can come now. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I got sent an email, then I accepted it, and they gave me a phone number and I rang up, and it was actually after the time that I was supposed to go in. And I just rang up and he said, yeah, yeah, come on in, because it's just down the road. It was, I put the job, I put the um, ad on, and I think it was that No, I put the application in on the form, it was really easy, just click the buttons and away you go, basically. If not that night, the very next day, um, I had been contacted by this uh, Aidan. Got a uh, SMS uh, saying that the job was there, so yep, just rocked up on the night, did the shift. And this young guy walked in, um, extremely well presented, punctual, um, rang me up to, beforehand to find exactly where we were, where he could park, um, was quite onto it from my point of view, um, showed up early. Yeah, it was fine for me because I'd already put in my availabilities as being free at that time. And was easy to work with, like he was open to being told what to do. Um, that one I did at about nine o'clock in the morning. We wanted somebody that lunchtime, so it would have been an hour and a half at the most. It wasn't long. I was actually quite shocked that they worked so quickly. He found us. Um, I got a um, uh, SMS to begin with. He SMS back. We spoke to him to confirm. Yeah, they called me up a um, couple of minutes later after I looked at my emails and they said, yeah. He turned up on the Friday night, he turned up on the Saturday night. He was great and we used him a couple of times since. Um, well it was at the busy time of the year and we also had a lot of staff on leave. So I was like okay well around Christmas time four kids I need money. Um, so I was really short staffed and I thought I just need to get someone in. You know you just log on if you get the job you go so which just takes out the scary part of the interview. Um, first communication was through from Ploy Me saying that there were some people who had applied for the, the position. I actually went on to look to see what was available and they had work available and I applied, got an email back to say okay you've got the job, contact the employer. I, and well, she actually contacted me before I even got the chance to contact Amy her. came along uh, because uh, these are people who are just looking for extra hours. So these are people who are already working in the field. They have, usually have a lot of experience. They're just looking for a bit of extra money. I found it great with Plummy and I still sneak a look even though I'm working. <laughs> She's very experienced. Um, she was very professional. She just came in. I, just, I didn't need to show her very much at all because she just picked it up like that. And yeah, I find it's a good way to get more experienced stuff than any other kind of advertising that I've ever done.